when I first entered Kaplan, it was like, very different. When I first came to Kaplan, I was very type A, very meticulous, very, I don't know, just I was, I was too caught up in my own head. I've definitely changed since I came to Catlin. I mean, of course, since I've been here so long, there's natural personal changes. But more than that, I think that Catlin has really bred this love of academia that I never thought that I would have. If you go into a class, there's just like a lot of laughter. I think there's a lot of laughter in the classroom. When someone asks me, like, what's your favorite subject? You know, what's your favorite class? I can be like, well, first I like U.S. history. And then I like English, and then math. Catlin makes learning extremely intriguing just because it is kind of grounded in relevance to the student. Catlin doesn't necessarily teach you subject matter. I mean, obviously it does, we're a school. But what's really most important here is how students approach learning. And I think that's, that's part of a liberal arts education, and Catlin does that really, really well. Something for me that really stuck with me was about taking risks. But I really kind of was interested in the, in the healthy risks part, the part where it's challenging yourself and going out of your comfort zone. I was always really scared of failure just because I, I mean, I, I always knew that like, they have those like motivational posters and it's like, you need to fail a thousand times before you can really succeed. And I was just like, do I though? Like, do I really need to fail a thousand times before I can see it? The way students are, the way teachers are, the way even like, you know, the staff is, you know that it's a place that if you fail, if you mess up, you're gonna be okay and everything will be fine. So whether it be sports, robotics, arts, you know, co-curriculars like clubs, which are just so random, there's so many ways to, to try something new here. Catlin is a very diverse community just because there are so many people who have a really broad intellectual perspective as well as extracurricular perspective. I mean, it's, it's wonderful to be able to walk through the halls and see someone who just won a math competition right next to someone who just had their piece displayed at the Portland Art Museum. You know, it's, it's really cool. You have so much power here as a student. You know, if you want to wear a, a, a sweatshirt that is politically motivated but expresses what you believe and what you're passionate about, you can wear that sweatshirt. And if you want to put on an event that the students are passionate about, you can make it happen. The, the, and, and you can make it happen really easily. Outside of Catlin, I've been able to pursue a professional theater career. Don't say it! Marcel, you can't do... Oh, no, oh, no, 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 Adam, no, no, um, no Just stop. because of the leniency that Catlin has and how um, they've really enabled me to tailor my curriculum to be able to complement my outside of school work as well. I, I, every day I step on the school, I feel like I'm meant to be here. There's no one else, nowhere else I want to be. I would say that I feel a sense of belonging here. This is probably going to be the closest community that I've been a part of. Now I sort of know what I like to do. I think it's because of trying all these things that I have a better sense of who I am as a person. I feel like, in a way, Catlin's loosened me up. Catlin has made me love to learn, and I think that that's really what school is all about. Catlin wants you to succeed and be a happy human being. That doesn't mean getting a hundred on every test you get, um, just because that's not what we're about here. Um, but yeah, you, you do feel definitely like a pressure to just like do what you want and kind of like be your best self. <laughs>